Bianca, and this is Jacob and Matthew. Oh, hi guys. I'm Jack Fishman, and I work at NASA Langley Research Center in the Atmospheric Sciences Department. Is there anything I can help you with? We have one question. We were wondering if smell could travel all the way from Exville to Big City. Well, you know, that's the research area I've been doing for a long time, and I might just be able to have some answers for you. Come on over to the laboratory. Let me show you some stuff. Okay, cool. How far do smelly things travel? Uh, you would really be surprised. Here at NASA Langley, in our Atmospheric Sciences Research Program, we have special instruments we put on both airplanes and even on satellites to track these smelly molecules. How far do you think they can travel? Hundreds of miles. From here to Tennessee? From here to California? Well, you'd be surprised. At one point, we actually took measurements of fires in Africa and South America, and we were able to track the chemicals in the smoke hundreds and hundreds of miles off the coast. And when you were so far away from the fires, could you still smell them? The smoke was certainly less dense and not even visible, but with our special instruments, we could still tell the smoke was in the air and the smelly molecules were, were present. And let me tell you something else. We fly instruments on satellites that are able to see the smoke and these smelly molecules travel all the way from South America all the way around the world or past the Pacific Ocean. Will they ever disappear? Well, actually, yes. Eventually, they'll react with another molecule to make a less smelly molecule. These molecules, in turn, may get washed out by the rainfall, and yes, they disappear. Wow, I guess the answer is yes. Smell really can travel. I guess we'd better go back to see if we're right. Hey, there's Dr. D. Let's go. Thanks for all your help. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.